Hello once again everyone and welcome to episode 5 of the Divine Divinity walkthrough. Um, well, it's been a while since I uploaded last time on this series. Just a lot of um, uh, real life misadventures sadly, but here we are. Hopefully picking up uh, onto a more regular schedule. And I think it's a good idea if we start by doing a quick recap of um, everything what we've been doing and what we gotta go and uh, what we have to get going now so uh well the teleporter activation stuff it's pretty uh it's kind of weird but we're gonna be doing them along the way that's for sure we got the the murder of george at aleroth that hasn't been done just yet meet the wizard sandalor at the dwarven bread inn we will be going there today i think as for the rest is like sort of side quest uh, more or less but this is pretty important uh, ravage the supply train this is um the orc camp supply uh, we're gonna do that we've been given the explosives to do so side quest the duke's murder this is pretty important uh, regarding the main story uh, so as you know, you probably know from watching on, on the last episode, uh, the Duke died of natural causes, or that was stated. Of course, this is not ha uh, what happens, so we have to investigate this thing. Now, the Duke is pretty important actually, so uh, you will do well to remember that. And find a solution for the plague, that is going to be the main thing, the main problem. Uh, besides uh, the main story uh, something like now oh yeah and also i am at the farmlands probably should put like a flag there farmlands i'm waiting with one hand forgive me uh, last time i think we were over here with captain mitox we're here in the farmlands now because we are going to look for someone so uh, if you don't know where this is, just remember uh, once we got out of Aleroth, we made it all the way down through the uh, through the path, met the Dragon Rider and Sandalore, and then there is this bridge. There it is. The music goes on and off. I don't really know if I can do anything about it. Oh yeah, and uh, I will be looking into mods or something because I don't, I never mod a game before. Uh, just to see if we can play without the fog of war probably that would be better to showcase more but anyway from the bridge we're gonna go up and uh, this is just a random guy really greetings to you stranger i hope you're not one of them villains who attack on a straight men traveling the roads these days mm. right so this guy's just gonna uh, tell you well, he's a trader and whatnot. He's gonna tell you about the orcs and everything. The trolls, sorry. The trolls, I believe in the last episode, I did address that right beside this bridge, if you go over here, you're gonna see a lot of trolls in the cave. Uh, even uh, as a mage, we will, we will get battered over there, so it's not really a good idea. But anyway, going up the path, if you find this house, we cannot see him because of the fall of war. But there is this knight. Over here, suffering gods. I haven't talked to anybody for what feels like weeks. Did you see him? He's out there looking for me. Calm down now. Who do you say is looking for you? His name is Crawler. And he's a backstabber. Poor Frank in the guild of assassins. Like all evil men, he felt the need to have a good cloth over me when he thought me helpless. That's how I escaped him twice so far, the numbskull. But I'm getting tired now and my legs hurt like hell. From the creeping and running I've had to do over the past few days. Do you know where Crawler is hiding? He must be nearby. I can feel his rotten presence. Being a fourth rate assassin, he's a master of stalking his prey. But nobody seems to have told him that nobody wears so black outfits out here in the farmlands. If you spot him, you'll know him. Uh, it's spotting him in the first place, that's the trick. Very well, I'll go and teach this assassin some tricks of my own. 
So that's another little mission that we got. Please find him before he finds me. There's something moving about outside the farm. Where are you from, stranger? I'm on the run. My name is Richard. And I was a noble knight stationed at Stormfist Castle. We also need to get going over there. But I made a grievous mistake. The Duke's son has sent an assassin after me. So why did the Duke's son hire an assassin to kill you? This is pretty important. That malignant brat, uh, Janus, wants me dead because I question the circumstances of his father's death. Something about how the, the old Duke died seemed fishy to me. Um, I was quietly looking into the matter, but Janus found out. You suspect Janus killed his own dad? Well, that is the m most probable case, uh, if you watched the last video, the way we found out about that. Frankly, I've doubted the, that the Duke died of a heart attack. I've been boar hunting with him. That man could run up a mountainside uh, as fast as I can, run along the flat, or I could before my leg got so knackered. I knew he had a heart as strong as his tax, so I suspected something else uh, had killed him. Well, this is the assassin. We've read that before. There it is. Help the help the scared knight. So, that is something else we want to do, but, uh, do I have it? Yeah, there it is. I, I have not been showing you the, um, the teleports, which it, uh, it was a mistake, actually, because the, those are pretty important. And I do not have any, I believe, not even in Aleroth. Or do I? Well, I don't know. Oh, the orcs are here already. Oh, we already make some damage. Oh, this one inside. I oh, know it's just a cow. Very well. So here it is. It's hiding uh, behind this uh, straw. Teleporter. When you click on it, you will see uh, with fire all the points that you have uh, to teleport. I did not pick up the one. Else. I will be doing those things off stream so you don't have to see me go through all of that. But yeah, it's pretty important that you pick them up. It's kind of difficult to spot them, especially if, uh, because of the fog of war. But uh, at least we've got this one, and I'm going to be getting the other ones. Uh, so, last time Captain Militox was the one that told us uh, about the, the camp supply. Or was it General Alex? I don't remember. But in any case, we were walking down here. And a man, homeless man, who we give, uh, we gave some gold, told us that his house, which I believe it's, uh, it's over, somewhere around there in the barracks, it's been now being used as a military base or something like that. One of his uh, his house had this, um, how would you call it, an underground passage towards. Uh, the orc camp and we can use that to um, to just travel there plant explosives and that way uh, we'll get rid of them what's the matter with you damn humans why can't you drive more careful okay so I these guys had an accident away. it was your job to avoid me I'm thinking you got no more right to the road than me or anyone else. Oh. Great galloping <laughs> the voice acting in this Every game is great. Every time I run into trouble on the road, there's a dwarf at the bottom of it. Don't you people know how to drive above ground? Well, the usual racism, racism in in good old medieval sagas with uh, with a war, with a brimming war. It's pretty common. Right, so this is the the army barracks, and Stormfist Castle is, uh, or here I believe, or is it here? This is Commander Ralph, the Dwarven Breton, and I think around here it's the um, Stormfist Castle. One thing about Stormfist Castle, if you haven't gotten there yet, in case you're following this as a guide. Um, is that you cannot enter 
without invitation. We do not have one. But the other the other thing you can do to gain entrance is to to do a good service, a heroic service to the to the cause, to the soldiers or whatever. And I do believe if we get on with the mission of exploding the orc supplies, we can get there. But in any case, this is the where Captain Mitchex is. So from here we're gonna go follow the path on the right. We're gonna have to fight some orcs on the way. Actually, I think those guys are, are over there. I don't know. Never mind then. So, as I said, yeah, this, there it is. Mining shaft to the orc camp. You can use that, which is the house that the old man told us about. But the thing is, you're gonna come out and you're gonna be surrounded by orcs. I do advise to play this game with the mage because it just makes things a lot easier. I'm not terribly fond of magic, but I did play with the warrior and it was insanely difficult to me at least to get the level and the damage in order to to proceed at least without an insane amount of farming that is which I don't really want the series to go that way so if you come this way it's easier you follow this path because you want to be cleaning uh, just everything and once we make it to the oh the mana is depleted actually we should we, we will do good to rest are depleted. Let me regain my strength. Indeed it is depleted. Ooh. So, the thing with the orcs, uh, at least in this section, is that they will be coming over there, over the barracks. So, uh, it's not like they are uh, spawning or, or anything. If you stay here, for example, for a, for a while, they will be showing up. Because they are coming from the camp, from their camp, to the barracks. They are going in that direction. But it doesn't matter, we're going to be cleaning this up. Okay, so here's the teleporter. Remember to touch it. You see, now we got two of them. So yeah, I am terribly... Uh, I am like an old man. The only thing I know is to press play on the video games. I, I never modded a game in my life, but I'm sure I can find on YouTube the way to do it. So that way we don't have power war. I think the fog here, for example, takes off the beauty of the game. So I, I really want to get rid of it. And because of the nature of the series, you know, if it, if it was just me playing on my own, without recording, I would just walk around the whole map cleaning it all, but I don't want to do that on, on the series, you know? In any case, we made it 40, we're gonna start putting points on Constitution. Uh, I don't know if this has to do with the stamina, which get uh, we get rid of that really quick, so I'll be looking into that. Mm, as for anything else, identify we can, but I think it's still an upgrade. Elven stamina. Okay. That was nice. I still got another one. Hmm. Oh, okay, that's pretty good to to gain level, especially because, as I said, we were not gonna be we're not gonna be farming or anything in part, uh, that way. I'm gonna do my best to not prolong the series too much. I know subconsciously, I really love to just do really long videos. 
But we'll see. Okay. So. Something important. Slightly important. Is here. We got a place to sleep. So. Hopefully. I can use it before I die. Right. The only problem is that. Now it's mid. Uh, night time. So, you just wanted to, uh, you just want to clear this camp, kill them all. We're doing all right. It's not too bad. The mage can do it. I do have uh, another spell besides the fireball. I got, um, I have the lightning, which is like a concentrated beam. You have to um, hold it, you know, and it goes out. The only thing is I don't use it because that one does drain a lot of mana. Like insane amount of mana. Then again, let's just make sure we clean this whole place up. That's a new tune, by the way. That's a new song. Haven't heard that. You do give a good chunk of, uh, of experience. Right. So it seems more or less clear. Now. Once you make it to this camp. There's still some people here it seems. Once you make it to this camp. On the left side. Uh, the right side sorry. Uh, you want to find this this thing that it's like uh, covered let's go around see if we find more people the drummer oh it's a lot of them what the hell okay so there's a uh, there are the scorpion traps let me go over here and try and heal let me see if I can use this. No. Well, I'm gonna just run away and try to use one of these. One of these. Oh, this is uh, slightly heavier than the other. Uh, can I sleep now? Well, I can use the, the teleporter stone, no problem. Remember, every time you go back on the field, take the one that it's outside, back in. Right, where are you guys? Okay, something I think I did mention in previous videos about the scorpion traps, in case you are not religiously following the, the series, and you just want to explore around and see all of these that I did not clean, for example. Uh, the scorpion traps, I do um, advise to, to take them all, to take them all. Because when you make it to a, you can make it to a place, a very high level place, with high level mobs that basically kill you non-stop. And you take those scorpion traps and they erase them, basically. And you get a lot of experience out of that. So, right. This place. Once you find this place, this is the supplies. So this is where we have to put the explosives we were given. I'm gonna put them here. I'm gonna run away. A lot of experience. There it is. This mission completed. So this, I believe, we have to report to Captain Mitox or um, or General Alex. Although there is the other guy who told us more about the um, ah Commander Ralph told us more about the Duke's uh, death. He also believes. Uh, 
he's been assassinated other than die of natural causes. Well, these guys die fairly easy. Make sure you kill them just so you can leave this place with uh, a couple extra levels. Some gold here. Right. Uh, I don't know. Is it this? I'm not even entirely sure if it's agility, the one that related to... Oh yeah, it is. Let's see now. Lightning damage passive. This is for melee attacks, of course. Part of the warrior. I do believe uh, very soon a different level will give me um, something that it's uh, like an upgrade to my fireball. <laughs> so that will make uh, more damage. What is this, by the way? Magic 6. It is a lot. Well, let's get nice. it just in case. Although I don't think I'll use it though. In any case, let's get out of here. I have a teleporter uh, somewhere over the east. There it is. Um, the thing is, oh yeah, let's go to the farmlands actually. Okay, here we are. Uh, hopefully we just replenish our stuff pretty quick. This is the only way I really know how to <laughs> just get, uh, oh no, just get it all back now. Sir Richard, the knight we just talked uh, with, said that he was uh, he can he could sense it over the farmings. So what we will do now is just have a look around, um, around these things. I believe it's over here actually, but I, I'm not remember, not quite sure. We will try to find this assassin. That, that's the only bad thing about the game, actually. I don't know if it's because it's night time. Um, but the music, you know, it almost feels like it, it it's uh, it's glitching. The way it just goes off. Oh, look at that. This is Stormfist Castle. I always call it Stormwave Castle. Apologies for that. <laughs> Apologies, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> In any case, just go around. You will know which one it is when you find this guy, Rufus. And when you can see the grapes. So let's talk to him. Leave the farmland, stranger. Too many bad things have been happening around here of late. I don't know if you're part of it, but either way, you'll be best off kicking off the dust of this place from your heels. Uh, you seem worried, friend. Tell me what ails thee. There's the music. Well, it might not seem like much, but I saw a queer man lurking near my cornfield, dressed all in black. There it is, that's our man. He was, and I got the impression that he was looking for something or someone. Didn't like his manner, not at all, I didn't. It's a fucking spider waiting for me to end the dialogue. You saw a man walking through the cornfields, is that what I got you so jumpy? There was something wrong about him, stranger. Uh, first send shivers down my spine. I've seen plenty of killers in my time. You, for instance. But this fellow was no mercenary or soldier. This one was a viper in a man's skin, if ever I saw one. 
I only spoke a few words to him, but I saw he was the type to cut a man's throat just for the fun of watching him flop about. Steer clear if you want my advice. Paul Reynolds uh, Johnson was killed by a troll. Okay, so a lot of uh, things have been happening with the trolls here. I think the other guy we talked about talks about the same thing. The brute uh, uh, tore the poor boy to shreds while his uh, his wounded father could only look on. It's fair, uh, broken poor old rich's heart. I don't wander far from shelter uh, with such beasts lurking about. A fit man cannot run a troll if he, he, uh, he has a hit start. We have to spot them coming. Very well then, so this is his cornfield. <clears throat> so as soon as you enter, straight up, you will find this ninja <laughs> sub-zero looking dude who does a sign with his hands i believe this is like a the expre the physical expression to the dialogue what are you doing here get out so are you the mysterious assassin following sir richard what you know then that means you know where sir richard is tell me hey i don't want any trouble with you you can find sir richard in the stables a bit further on you can snitch on him no, I will not hand over, over an innocent person to the likes of you. Let's go. This guy, especially by the uh, fourth intelligence makers, we're gonna melt him, just so you know. Then I will beat it out of you. There you go. That's the assassin. In any case. One more quest done. This, uh... Oh, this is not interactable. I thought it was. In any case, uh, as you can see, this is going to be a, a sort of a shorter episode than usual. I'm just trying to set up for uh, the upcoming episodes that are going to be more centered in, the, in this main story. Which is what I want to get on. But yeah, there is the assassin. <laughs> He's dead. He couldn't. He could not fight a Magus. spider so we want to go to uh, talk to sir richard and tell him about what we did uh, as i told you you can just speak with the npcs uh, npcs this one already gave us a mission where with a letter or something you enter the houses you can have more uh, to talk about and i'd advise it because in some houses you find hatches and those hatches are like farming place usually uh, uh, some of them are over level it's kind of random uh, if you ask me uh, always make sure to control s for safety safe there homer uh, this guy has some sort of mini story going but it's not terribly important let's see i didn't expect you to return so soon my friend but my grandfather always used to say that if a person ever visited the farmlands they always come back I wouldn't be surprised if one day you settle down here yourself, wonder, uh, wonder though you are. Now, what can I do for you? Uh, right, no, so he's just gonna tell you about the farmlands. That's it. Uh, okay, there it is. We're gonna go towards that house. Oh, yeah. Or here, very up north, is the Cursed Abbey. The Cursed Abbey... Uh, you're gonna, if you play normally, you know, it's pretty close, fairly close to Alaroth, which I clean up pretty much. You're gonna think uh, you can just go through, even with a mage, um, with the stats we have now, which is not too bad for uh, the time we've been playing. It is just unforgiving. I, uh, we're not gonna be going over there anytime soon, but we will address it nonetheless. Okay, so we clear this fog. We can now see Sir Richard. Are you mad to come back? I hope no one saw you. Bloody hells. I'm becoming a nervous wreck. I confronted your friend Crawler and did unto him as he had done unto others. The assassins as dead as a, a, a measured sense of charity. You can relax, at least for a while. By the merciful gods, my chances for the next week are so have improved a lot thanks to you. Maybe it will give me time to get away, but I doubt it. On Janos' orders, the assassin's skill will hunt me across Rivelon and back again. 
but you uh, you bought me a little more time or uh, a friend or oh, for what I'm, for that i'm very grateful so the assassin skills uh we will be addressing in the series however um if you play normally as i said you would have got there already but you would have stumbled up, uh, across maybe under um over level enemies and so on and que side quests that you can probably not do in the game there is a lot of guilds the the dwarf the guild of the dwarven the elves the assassins the merchants and i will work it out but i hope i can bring uh, i can do the, all the things related to that in the series rest in peace what <laughs> rest in peace i'm um, sorry just leave of the tongue what i wanted to say was good luck my friend you got the wits to survive i hope why am i so witty <laughs> oh <laughs> And off he goes. It's basically the same armor, or really similar to that one paladin we met uh, outside of Aleroth. The difference is uh, he is sort of like a paladin. He had healing abilities and a magic sword, which is pretty cool. You know, I cannot resist the paladin. Uh, very well. <clears throat> so now, what we will want to do. Although Stormfist Castle is here, <laughs> apologies. It's to go to the uh, to the army barracks. As you know, I don't, I do not have the teleport. So I reckon I will. I'll see you once I'm there. I'm gonna make a quick cut, and I'll see you over there. Well, but I was on my way and I, <laughs> it's not even a guy, I thought it might have been a quest or something. Uh, he was being attacked by orcs. Alright, this is the blue boar inn, we've been here before. Um, I have not looked it up. Wait, is this it? Yeah, Elgamon. I have not looked it up the last time I did because that guy scanned me. Uh, scanned me, yeah. The first time around. He sold me magic carpet and it's not a magic carpet. <laughs> then you go back and you say <clears throat> you go back to uh, to fight with him or something. He tells you a magic word. You use the magic word and it doesn't work. So it's it's basically a scam. To the barracks, southeast. To uh, I don't know. It would be pretty funny to f to discover that. Oh, this guy's again. My wares are needed, and I've wasted too much time listening to your petty complaints already. Go screw your wares, human. My ale needs to be in a cool cellar as soon as may be. If it warms up any more, it'll spoil. I get the first aid that comes along. Don't be ridiculous. Your ale tastes like cat piss, warm or cold. Boiling it couldn't make it any worse than it is. I get the first help that comes along. You piggy humans got the taste buds of trolls. You wouldn't know a fine brew if you were swimming in it. Fucking hell. <laughs> the game really wants me to talk to them. Let's see. No, the only thing you say it's uh, good luck, farewell. Uh, what was I talking about? Fucking idiots! You gonna pay me for? <laughs> I... Yeah, bye bye. <laughs> These idiots made me forget what I was talking about. Ah, yeah, the guy with the magic carpet. I was just saying it would be pretty funny if I find out uh, that someone managed to. To make the magic carpet work. I was like, yeah, I won't have to walk again. Right, so this is the barracks. The barracks. Stand up straight, you horrible little man. You didn't need to call me that. Oh. Very well. So, yeah, I didn't I didn't say it. From the barracks, you want to head to the path on the right. Because now, 
we are going to go uh, is it here oh it's here my bad well it's not it's not as far as it looks actually we are gonna go to the dwarven bread inn where we are supposed to meet sandalore as you might remember from the first from the second episode yeah we we're just gonna follow the path it's gonna go like that And we're gonna meet Sandalor, which um, told us that we we will also meet the other two marked ones. Remember that is three marked ones, um, as I explained in the first episode. This angel, what they call the divine, it's uh, well was being killed by the. Fucking hell, Spider. By the cold, the ancient cold of the black, uh, black circle. This is another outpost for militaries. And this is right here. And the angel split itself in three. And sort of got himself of mortals, ourselves included. I usually have the map here, but in this resolution, it's so fucking big that I <laughs> sometimes drag it out. Ah, I see the light. What? What did you see? I see you. Oh, freebooter. Everyone calls me a freebooter. Surrounded by light you are, and I see trouble. A world. A universe of trouble. Ah, well. A mad charlatan woman. Have trained adept. Tell me more. Ah, uh, no. The vision is too strong. Too overwhelming. I can't take anymore. What? Tell me more. Tell me what you see. No. Go away. The pictures. Too many pictures. I don't understand anything. No. Leave me alone. Please. I'm begging you. You bring joy and you bring pain. I can't. Ah. <laughs> Ah, and she was away. All right. I don't know what what that was about, quite frankly. We'll see. We'll see, probably. Don't worry. Let's see. To the dwarven village north. Maximum north. height restriction. Troll size. Sounds like the place to for me. Stormfist Castle, northwest. No representation without taxation. Without taxation? I am not paying no taxes, what the hell? Okay, here we go. Hello, sir. You planning to visit this bar here? He speaks a little weird. Uh, yes, I am. What do you ask? Well, then, a word of advice. Don't challenge Bro uh, to a fight. Who is this uh, bro you mentioned? Ah, this is very difficult to read actually. Uh, Berg is a very good fighter. He challenges people for money. Uh, don't do it. Berg is very strong. Uh, he'll seriously injure you. Uh, why are you speaking like that? He's drunk. He's a tavern. I was... Uh, foolish enough to fight Baruch, and this is the result. Okay, very well then. Dwarven bread in. This is the Dwarven bread in. Let's have a look around. Sylvana. Looks like a nun. Oh, look at that. We were just talking about the rumor that uh, Duke Janos is the Divine One. Oh, yeah, I think I did explain this, but he's attributing himself the title of Divine One because uh, we believe, we do not know just yet, but we believe he's um, engaged somehow with the Black Circle, which is a very, very, very old cult. Uh, sent by the gods to protect us from evil. I think it might be true, you know. 
there, uh, these are troubled times. It's about time the gods did something about the state that, uh, that Rivalon is in. If not them, then who, eh? But yeah, this is just to set up the story. Also, what, what a fucking banger, isn't it? This guy's pissed. Oh! It's uh, Patrick Stewart. Greetings, lady. What can I do for you? I am looking for a man called Sandalor. He is rather old and has a beard. He, he said he would meet me here. Sandalor. Quite a coincidence. I am looking for him too. Which means that you are too uh, a marked one. Sandalor mentioned that I am a marked one. Do you know what th this all means? I am as puzzled as you about the matter, my friend. Sorry. Hmm. Another marked one. Th that's two of us and there is one missing. Do you know where Sandalor is? He has gone to Stormfist Castle to find yet another marked one, I believe. Uh, just how many mar uh, these marked ones are there? Sandalor said that uh, there are three. You and I and the one he's gone to see at Stormfist Castle. Very well then. Where's Stormfist Castle? Uh, oh yeah, it's not marked in my map. I don't know kind of where it is. Here, let me mark it on your map. Gratitude, friend. <laughs> I think I will go to the castle and find him. Uh, yeah. Yeah, actually. Sandra said we should wait here. I am sure he will return shortly. I still think I should go to the castle. Maybe Sandra is in trouble and needs help. If he returns while I'm gone, tell him I'll, I shall check back here from time to time. Very well. Maybe there is no point in us both waiting here. Very well. Find Sandalor. So we're heading to Stormfist Castle. Well, this dude does look like a like a like the hero of the story, and not us. <laughs> Let's have a look around. These things are open. Ho, oh, human, friend or foe. Uh, I am a friend to all honest folk. Good to hear. With all these stinking monsters about, it's good to see a friendly face again. Where are you headed? My destination is Yonder Dwarven Village, uh, Glenborough. Not far from here, but nowadays even the shortest journeys are dangerous, and I have an important mission to, per to perform. I have to bring something to the, uh, to the Major Dunatrim or Glenborough's. Uh, if, if it is so important, maybe he can help you. Very kind of you, human. But no, I can't trust anyone in this matter. The teleporter scroll uh, of the dwarves, of the dwarves, must stay in our hands. Okay, we do need these scrolls. The scrolls uh, take you to different. Mm, I wouldn't say. I, I usually call them continents, but it's not that. But it's like restricted areas somewhat. It's not um, It's not like the map we have when we teleport. It's outside of that sort of thing. <coughs> I really need this scroll. No way. Don't even think about it, human. I've had a hard time myself of late. Ah, so I can see, human. Tough times. Still, I myself have been extremely luckily, uh, lucky over the last couple of weeks. I found some excellent gemstones up in the mountains. What kind of gemstones? Several flawless firestones, a land pearls, and elf rubies. Uh, not to mention a bag full of semi-precious gems. Now listen, stranger. My father always told me to share my good luck with those that need it. That way you keep the favor of the good gods and stay lucky. So seeing you've had a hard time of late, I would like uh, to give you a gem. Share a little of my joy, as it were. Will you accept such a gift from me? Yeah, sure. So there is a man in the path to Stormfist Castle, I believe, that tells you about... Uh, no, I am lying. Matter of fact, it's from the, bar uh, from the barracks. From here, from the army camp, all the way down, I believe, in the path down. That tells you about a cave in which he finds uh, some gems. 
However, it's enchanted. Uh, and what it does is that it um, it disappears when you try to pick it up. And it only shows up again when you take a considerable distance I from it. Too much to carry. I must drop some items first. Well, I will do afterwards. Don't worry about it. Just, just drop that. In any case, I have no idea what that is about. I'll probably look into it and see if it's any relevance. I will bring it to the series, of course. But, as you remember, this poor man who was outside here told us about this fighter, Burl, or something like that. Well, uh, not entirely sure, but I'm, I'm certain that you can find a hatch or something that leads underground. I actually think it's uh, to the right of the bar. Mm. Yeah, there it is. This is a stairway. It's some sort of a storage to the foot of the nail. But to the left, you can see a rink. Right. Let the fight begin. <laughs> <laughs> Stop that. That is enough. I can't take anymore. Haha, <laughs> Burlich. Uh, that's the name. Uh, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. Uh, remains the unbeaten champion. Now, are there any more challengers? Come on, don't be shy. Beat Burlich in the ring and win a lot of money. Well, I don't know at what level you can beat the guy. But obviously, because we don't have any strength. I tried this, by the way, with this character. It's a fist uh, hand hand to hand combat because we don't have any strength. He beats us uh, immediately. So we're not we're not gonna be doing that. I just want to show you that. But yeah, it's very interesting that that we find out here. I don't know if there's anyone else here that can tell us something about it. Well, we can get a. The side quest that these people give you in the first area before going to... Um, I, I remember the name. I do remember the name. Verdistis. Before going to Verdistis. It's mostly people wanting you to deliver letters to people... Uh, to people in Verdistis and so on. Or in later places. What can you tell me about this bar fight? It's a cruel game. People fight barely for money. He's a very strong guy. I don't think anyone can beat him. Ah, uh, yeah. But anyone else gives you anything else. So, I would say we're done here. In any case, what we're going to do afterwards is to go to Stormfist Castle and see if we can find Sandalor. Now, I do believe, because we made a good deed here, uh, helping... Captain Mitox and whatnot, blowing up the whole orc camp. We should have entrance to um, to what it is the um, the castle. You know, you can only enter with invitation of um, just serving. What is this about? Stand where you are, citizen. Yes, sir. What can I do for you, lieutenant? We're looking for a thief from the farmlands. I've never been to the farmlands, so I doubt I'll be able to help you with the inquiries. Well, that's a lie. I was in the farmlands recently, but I am not a thief. Yeah. Maybe yes, maybe no. Unfortunately, I can't prove anything just yet. Uh, but be careful. From now on, we've got an eye on you. Good hunting, then. We, we win some wisdom. But yeah. This is where we're going to leave the episode for today. It's, uh, I believe, I'm not entirely sure, I can't see the time. I believe it's shorter than usual. I don't really have much to, to show, other than the important dialogues leading to the main story. Uh, but then again, we're just setting up. Setting up to uh, the more um, unfolded, unraveled storytelling regarding the main quest. Yeah, I really hope you enjoyed. Um, this is... 
just a bridge episode to get it going to go back to the schedule of uploads and to get going with the series i'm sorry it took so long i apologize it's uh, there was nothing i could do about it and remember to follow me on the purple website because i will be streaming every thursday yeah i'm unemployed and i'll see you in the next one thank you so much bye bye